One of the most common questions I get asked and have always been asked is, Caleb, what are the easiest cities in the United States to get laid? Or the easiest cities in Europe? Or the easiest cities in the world? Today, I'm gonna answer that question right now in this video. First of all, we have to separate the United States from the world. Many of you are Americans and are interested in cities in the United States. Many of you are non-Americans. And of course, many of you are Americans who are wisely escaping the collapsing USA and going to other countries. So I have to tackle cities in the United States first, and then cities outside the United States second, both of which I'll do right now. As many of you know, I have been all over the world. I have also been all over the United States. I have dated and had sex all over the world and all over the United States. I have FBs and ex-MLTRs literally all over the United States and all over the world. So I know a little something about this. Moreover, and more importantly, I have an audience of thousands upon thousands of people who I've been communicating with for about 15 years. And these are men all over the world, and they have reported a lot of data back to me. So I have a lot of data, on the ground data, from people like you who have reported to me various cities that work well, various countries that work well, various cities that don't work well, and various regions that don't work well. So between all of this, I have a pretty good idea of what parts of the United States and or the world are easier to get laid in and harder to get laid in. First, let's cover the United States. And that is one of the most common questions I get. Caleb, what are the easiest cities in the United States to get laid? Here's the problem. The very premise of that question is incorrect. The fantasy is that there are certain cities inside the United States that are really easy to get laid in as compared to other cities in the United States. And I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but that is incorrect. There are actually, in the United States, no easy cities. The vast majority of all the cities in the United States are of equal difficulty, which I would categorize as moderate. Not easy, not super difficult, just average. The vast majority of all the cities, we're talking East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Texas, all the United States, including places like Hawaii and Alaska, they're all about the same with a few exceptions. So before I get onto those exceptions, I wanna make it clear, there are no easy cities in the United States in which to get laid. If you're an American and you want an easy place to get laid, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to get your ass on a plane and go to a different country. If you're not willing to do that, well, then I'm sorry, you're gonna have to settle for a moderate difficulty city, which are most cities in the United States. Now, I said there are exceptions. Unfortunately, these exceptions are difficult cities. So basically, the United States is 95% moderate cities, 5% difficult cities. And these may not be exact percentages, but I think they're reasonably close. So what are the difficult cities in the United States in order to get laid or date women? Well, I've made no secret about this. The single worst city in the entire United States for dating women is San Francisco. The entire Bay Area is extraordinarily difficult for men to get laid. I have conversed with many men who were in other normal cities, had an easy time getting laid through online dating, day game, night game, what have you. They moved to San Francisco, and all of a sudden, all the stuff they were using, all the techniques they were using, suddenly don't work. I have received numerous complaints from men in San Francisco, the entire San Francisco Bay Area, on how difficult it is there to get laid. So San Francisco, without a doubt, is the most difficult city in the United States. Period, end of story, that's obvious. If dating is an important part of your life, if your woman life is an important part of your life, you should not live anywhere near the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm sorry, that's just a reality. By the way, side note, I've also said that the state of California is literally the worst place in the world, and I mean this, in the world for the alpha male 2.0. Not only is it difficult to get laid there, and dating is more difficult there, but taxes and cost of living make business there virtually impossible. Possible. I don't understand all these guys who live in California and put up with all the bullshit in California, the woke politics, the horrible infrastructure, the terrible dating market, the super high taxes, the super high cost of living, the homeless problem, which is an epidemic down there. I list all these problems and these guys say, but the weather. Okay, if the weather is so important to you that every other aspect of your life completely sucks, I guess stay in California. Otherwise, you should move the hell out of California. And that's the extension to this. What are the other different cities that are difficult to date in the United States. Well, guess what? Pretty much all of them are in Southern California. Los Angeles 
is pretty difficult. It's not quite as difficult as San Francisco, but Los Angeles is a very SMV-focused dating culture there. So if you don't have a lot of money and or drive a cool car and or look really good, you're gonna have a really rough time in Los Angeles. I didn't say it's impossible, I said it's harder. Same thing with other places like San Jose, San Diego. These are not good places to date for men. Now, I didn't say that there's no other good aspects to these cities. I think San Diego has some of the best weather in the world. Fine, but I would never live there. Pay those taxes, that cost of living, deal with those women, no fucking thank you. By the way, there is a close Canadian corollary to San Francisco that I've also mentioned before, and that is Toronto. The city of Toronto is probably the second worst city in the entire North American continent where men can get laid and date women. I realize that's in Canada and not the United States, but it's so close, I wanted to include that in here. Again, if you live in Toronto, and your woman life is very important to you, you need to leave Toronto. You cannot stay there, I'm sorry. You gotta do whatever you can to get the hell out of Toronto. You can stay in Canada. Vancouver, BC is a wonderful city where dating is pretty good. But Toronto is pretty much almost as bad as San Francisco and that's saying something. So that's about it. Southern Californian cities are difficult. San Francisco and Toronto are the worst and all the other cities in the United States are about the same in terms of moderate difficulty. There are no cities in the United States that are easy. Now let's talk about cities outside of the Western world, countries and other regions. Before I get to that, if you like this content on how to date multiple attractive women all at the same time without any cheating or drama and have a location independent income, you should subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, put a like on this video and leave a comment on this video and that way you'll be sure to get this content for free in the future. Now let's talk about outside of the United States and let's talk about cities outside of the US. Now it gets a little complicated to address cities so instead to simplify this conversation, I'm gonna focus on countries. Where are the easiest countries to get laid for men outside the United States? Where are the more difficult countries to get laid for men? at least in the modern era. Well, the easiest place in the entire world for a guy to get laid, this is also very easy, I've made no secret about this, is the Philippines. You can be a normal, everyday Westerner, even if you have a darker skin tone, and just go to the Philippines for a week and just meet some girls and do some swiping on some dating sites down there, and you will get laid like a rock star. I have heard from tons of people, tons of men, where they experienced exactly this. Guys who couldn't get laid anywhere else, they go to the Philippines and they get laid left and right, including guys who are beta males, including guys who are virgins, including guys who are incels, including old men who are ugly and have no game. You will clean up in the Philippines. There's a number of cultural factors for this. Uh, Filipino women are higher sex drive women. They have lower ASD. They're very happy and fun. They like Westerners. They like white guys and Hispanic guys, and yes, even black guys. There's also a very high population of gay men in the Philippines, which reduces the pool of men available for the female dating market and a bunch of other factors. So that is, hands down, the easiest place in the world to get laid. The next two places in terms of ease of getting laid are not countries, but regions. The next one is... No surprise here, South America. South America has women who have lower ASD, higher sex drives. They are more comfortable having sex. The Latina culture is a more passionate culture. They're more into sex. If you're a Westerner who's ever had sex with any women in South America, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a much easier place to get laid. We could do a deep dive on every different South American or Central American country on which ones are easier or less difficult, but that would be kind of useless because there are so many easy places to get laid in South America. Colombia, Brazil, Ecuador, some regions of Mexico, some regions of Paraguay. I mean, it's all over the map. You'll have an easier time there than the United States, Canada, or Western Europe. The third region on the list in terms of ease of getting laid is Southeast Asia. And again, we could go through each country, but all the basic countries that you're all aware of, namely places like Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, these are pretty easy to get laid as compared to the Western world. Take your pick of these countries. Now, if you hate Asian women or don't prefer Asian women, that means you're gonna have to stick with places like South America, which is fine. If you like Asian women, if you like feminine women, you will love Southeast Asia. Now. To be clear, I said Southeast Asia, I didn't say Asia. There are many countries in Asia where it is more difficult to get laid than in the United States. I'm talking about Southeast Asia only. Now, what are some difficult places to get laid in terms of what I know from people who've traveled around the world? Well, there are a few. Unfortunately, uh, one big one on the top of the list is Denmark. I've had a lot of people report to me that it is extremely difficult to get laid in Denmark, surprisingly, but that's one of them. I've also had a lot of people report to me from Germany 
how difficult the dating market is for men in Germany. That is why so many men from Germany head to places like Southeast Asia or even Eastern Europe to have a better time of getting laid. So I definitely have heard those reports. Now to be fair and to be clear, that doesn't mean if you live in Germany or Denmark, you can't get laid. Don't use that as an excuse. There are men in Denmark and there are men in Berlin, Germany who do get laid and do just fine. They just have to put in the extra time and effort and they decide to do that. So don't use this as an excuse to say, oh, boo hoo, I live in Germany, so I guess I can never get laid. No, either up your game, up your activity level, or even better, get the fuck out of Germany and Denmark and escape the collapsing West like I did. Why the hell do you live in Europe? My God. Another difficult place that I know it's hard to get laid for a lot of guys is Taiwan. That's one of the Asian countries where ASD is actually much higher and more traditional values are much strongly reinforced. And so it's harder to get laid, especially get laid quickly in places like Taiwan. You could also probably throw India in there in terms of difficulty getting laid. But frankly, there's not a lot of Western guys going to India to look to get laid. Now that brings the topic of Eastern Europe. A lot of guys assume that it's easier to get laid in Eastern Europe. And that is actually false. It is not easier to get laid quickly in Eastern Europe. It might be easier to find a long-term wife or girlfriend in Eastern Europe if you don't mind having several dates with no sex. But that's different than getting laid, and this video is about getting laid. Unfortunately, a lot of women in Eastern Europe, it's kind of the norm there where they have higher ASD, they are more traditional, they will want more dates with no sex before they get to sex, they will make you wait longer for sex, and so on. Now I realize there's a lot of jaded Western men who go to Eastern Europe looking for women because they think for whatever reason that women are better there or smarter or better looking. I agree they're better looking, that's very true. But that doesn't mean that it's easy to get laid in Eastern Europe with some exceptions. If you have very strong game or very high SMV, then yes, you'll probably do pretty well in Eastern Europe. But frankly, in my opinion, if you have strong game and high SMB, you can do well anywhere, including places like here in Dubai. So they don't have to go to Eastern Europe if you have those two qualities, in my view. If you want more details on the best countries for attractive women in terms of the hottest women on earth, you should watch that video right there in the top 10 hottest women countries, and I'll see you in that video.